you picked uh, should transgender women compete in women's sports? Yes. Timer for five. I'll just ask questions to get your perspective. Absolutely. Uh, but the first question I'd like to get is uh, a sense of people's confidence about this. Mm -hmm. So if all the way to the right black, uh, that's like, yes, absolutely, trans women should compete, yeah. and all the way left white is no, absolutely not. Yeah. Where would you find yourself on that scale? Um, I would be probably about here. Okay, yeah, you can show it to that camera, this one here. Oh, okay. About there? About there, yeah. It's, a, it's a very much leaning towards no, no yeah. but still open-minded about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah, what do you think about this? Uh, from, from what I've understood, through basic bi biology, mm -hmm. just the, the, the structure of a man and a woman, mm -hmm. I think there's an unfair advantage for women, for a, for a male to, to oh, I mean, sorry, for a trans woman to then come into that category. Like, I don't mind trans women having their own, you know, like, league. Their own separate league. Yeah, because I guess that's, the variables are much more set. Uh -huh. But whereas in this instance, you know, someone who has trained their whole life with what they they can do specifically with what they they have to then you know I, I don't mean to be rude to the trans people you know but mm -hmm. like just more so on the side of the people who didn't have the opportunity to change their yeah. their um uh structure i guess to okay. to fit the circumstances so what i'm hearing you say is there are vast differences between men and women yes. on average in yes. terms of physical Characteristics: yes. you know, Men are stronger, therefore better, you know, better equipped for sports. For for heavy duty sports. For heavy, yeah, you know, more physical sports. More, more physical sports, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if they, if a, if a man transitions to a woman mm -hmm. and then goes into women's sports, mm -hmm. which is comprised of less physically fit humans, which women yeah. on average, they would have an unfair advantage. I feel like they would. Just but, you know, with that being said, I've seen a lot of women's sports and sometimes they can be a lot more aggressive than men. Okay. But, you know, there's still that, that little upper hand of the, the strength part. You know, like, personally, I wouldn't feel mm -hmm. uh, uh, safe to allow my, my daughter to, to, to play against the, somebody who is built a bit more differently because of such advantage. Mm. But, you know, obviously it's my personal opinion. And mm -hmm. if my child wants to play in the, in the league, like, that's absolutely fine. And if, if it's, you know, like, even when we're growing up, they have the separate mm -hmm. leagues. I mean, they have the, when you're a kid, they have the, the joint ones because you haven't really developed. But as you get older, they know that these differences can actually cause some, some harm, what I guess. Some harm. Yeah. Yeah. So it comes down to just fairness. I feel fairness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, generally. Okay. I mean, I feel like, yeah, fairness yeah. wise, yeah. If we had the technology or just mm -hmm. capability of, of, the, of the people who wanted to transition, like going through some some way to mm -hmm. make it more fair, yeah. like if they had, to, in some way we had that ability, yeah. would that been be fine? Definitely. Okay. I mean, yeah, if we're able to test it to be sure uh -huh. that there's an equal playing field, like why not? That's the whole point of evolution is to find solutions to these things. But mm -hmm. as of now, I don't see that being shown. You know, you see a man come from, I mean, sorry, a trans woman come into uh, a league and absolutely dominate. Yeah. Like, absolutely dominate. Mm -hmm. You know, and then as a person who, like, as a, as a female who would have worked their, some, even their whole lives to become something, you practice so hard for somebody to come out of nowhere. You haven't seen them growing up in the leagues. You know, you know people name by name and someone just comes out and was like, oh, yeah, where did yeah. they come from? Oh, they, you know, they, they've transitioned. Welcome. Yeah, and if we investigated those situations and mm -hmm. we found... For example, their testosterone levels were, were still well, at a high level, yeah. so high. And we we had a rule where we limit the, the testosterone level, mm. where it's below, or like even below the highest ever female testosterone level we've yeah. measured. They would have to be below that. Uh, would that be a more fair way to go about it? It would, would be a more fair way. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we took the time to, if also looking at the transition period, mm -hmm. how long someone's been in transition for, Mm -hmm. I think that's a big factor too, because yeah. like in Australia, there was um, uh, a gentleman playing in the female um, Australian Football League. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm not too sure on how long the length of his transition was, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't, I think it was under two years. Under two years? Under two years, yeah. And I, I don't think there's a lot of um, estrogen that's pumped in at that time, mm. you know, for that. So if we had like a rule where a minimum of 
two years and their testosterone levels were lower than a certain point? I couldn't give you a certain year time because I don't know how much is put in and what the process is of it. Don't know. But um, mm -hmm. I, would, I would definitely feel like it needs to be a period of time where, you know, mm -hmm. it's actually affected their body to the point where it's like there's a balance. There's a balance? Yeah. Okay. But if we had some way of measuring that... Mm -hmm. And we if figured, we had a way of measuring it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But you know, you know how humans are, man. Sometimes we can find ways to get through things. And yeah, yeah. That's why, I mean, there's the whole doping scandal just in general with, with um, any sports. And so, mm -hmm. gotcha. that's kind of where yeah, that, that situation goes back and forth. You'd need good adjudicators both ways. Yeah. And I've heard of other reasons why, like, for example, just all sports have never been equal. Yeah. Therefore, fairness is irrelevant. Absolutely. I mean, that... What do you think of that reason? I mean, you could play that part, but then there's that whole equality thing in the first place, mm -hmm. you know? Like, not even equality, um, I'm trying to say it. It kind of breaks away the whole appreciating each person for their, their talents. It's mm -hmm. like if we put us all in a pool, and it's like you can't appreciate, like, okay, look, if we were to judge people as a whole on how well people are doing, right now, there'd probably be a lot more men doing better things in certain industries simply because of what we do. Like, men can't get pregnant. Men can't, you know, take time. Men don't need to take time off for such things like periods and stuff like that. Like, we have more time to focus on our, our, yeah. our crafts if we choose to. Whereas women, when they have children, sometimes they have to look after their children and they get taken away. So, like, where can we then show them love and appreciation for what they do? Mm -hmm. in these industries if we're all meshed into one pool where it's like there's an there's already unfair advantages just biologically with, with our mm -hmm. bodies you know yeah so yeah they're just physical differences yeah based on nature Life or biology yeah you know if if we decided to have all sports be mixed gender mm -hmm. what would you expect to happen in terms of like the highest uh levels of sport competitions would we see any women or I, some women? no i think we would okay i think we would I, but i think there would be some sacrifices on their end in their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And that's completely up to them, whether they choose to sacrifice them or not. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I mean, if you want to dedicate your life to something, go for it. I'm absolutely for chasing your dreams. Like, mm -hmm. But yeah, there would definitely be sacrifices in lifestyles that, that people would miss out on things that they want. But yeah, your life, do as you choose. Right. Yeah. Like I've heard the statistic, there are 2,000 men alive today mm -hmm. that could run a 100 meters faster than the greatest female sprinters of all time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's see, and that's that's also comes through my point before. Like I was saying, like yeah, we want to show respect, like love and respect to the, to everybody. Let them have their chance to kind of prove themselves. Mm -hmm. And if it was mixed, if everything was mixed, then it wouldn't. There wouldn't be that that chance to show appreciation to people who deserve their appreciation for for mm -hmm. what they can contribute to to any, you know, type of yeah. Thing. It's complicated. It uh, is, but, but that's yeah. why we have these conversations, mm -hmm. yeah? Right. Well, anything else about that? Uh, um, no, nah, man, appreciate your time. Nice to see you. All right, it's, cool. It's, it's, really it's very good. nice. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Till next time. Yeah. Do you mind if I take a card? Sure. Thank you.